Hey guys, it's Larry Greenberg, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Motorola Moto E Android Smartphone. This product has an MSRP of $119.99, and it is sold directly from Motorola contract free. So if you are new to Android or new to smartphones and have been looking for an affordable handset to pick up, perhaps this is the one for you. We all know the term flagship phone, and that's not what the Moto E is all about. Those flagship phones like the Samsung Galaxy S6 or the Moto X sell for hundreds of dollars, it might be too expensive for those looking for an entry-level device. The Moto E, which is again contract-free and under $200, is a great entry-level device. So let's take a look at it up close right now. Here is the box, which you can see, and inside is the phone itself, which we'll get to in a second. The phone does come in two colors, white or black, and inside the box you will find the charger, the charging block with the micro USB cable, and some paperwork including a quick start guide and other Motorola information. So enough of that, let's talk about the phone itself. And here it is. You can see it's quite a small display coming in at 4.5 inches. It's a QHD 540 by 960 display and it features an anti-smudge coating so it should be resistant to fingerprints. It does use Corning Gorilla Glass and the entire housing is water resistant and water repellent. So it is at, you know, at its most basic level, a very durable phone. Inside the phone itself is a Qualcomm Snapdragon 1.2 gigahertz quad core processor. So it's a speedy phone, um, which is surprising given the low cost of it. Battery life is about 24 hours of standby and usage. It has a 2390, 2390 milliamp hour battery inside. So taking a quick tour around the phone, there is a front facing camera, which is VGA. It doesn't take the greatest pictures, but for selfies and things like that, it should just be fine enough. On the side, you've got the power button and the volume rocker. You can turn on the phone and then swipe up to unlock it. And there is that beautiful display. On the back, you've got a rear-facing camera as well. That's a five megapixel camera that has four times optical or four times digital zoom built in as well. There's also burst mode, auto HDR and panorama and tap to focus. There also is a feature in the camera where you can simply tap anywhere on the screen to take a picture. So if I bring up the camera and um, I angle it at, let's see, the box back there and just press it takes a picture, which is kind of cool. You don't have to fuss around for the shutter. On the bottom is that micro USB charging port. The phone itself has eight gigabytes of onboard memory and can be expanded up to 32 gigabytes thanks to an SD card slot. You access that SD card slot by actually removing this frame, which is on the back. And the frame can be mix and match. They do offer colored options of this. They actually sent along a couple of those as well. So you can replace them with these colored pieces. But with that frame off, you have access to the micro SIM slot as well as the micro SD card slot right there. So if I wanted to make this phone blue, I could do that by simply adding on this colored bezel to the back like so and snapping it back in place. And these can be had, like I said, on the Motorola, Motorola website. They're not very expensive. I have it upside down. Let's try that one more time. There we go. Just adds a little bit of color to the phone itself, which is kind of cool. You don't have to worry about adding a case to you know, mix and match and add some color to your phone. As far as the operating system goes, the Moto E is running Android 5.0 Lollipop, which is the newest version of Android. And I do, as I mentioned, find it quite snappy. Um, no lag whatsoever, really. Um, whether it's between multitasking, you know, jumping between apps, everything is nice and smooth, um, buttery smooth, actually. I really enjoy it. Multitasking, such as doing things like listening to music while doing other things on the phone, works just fine. There are no issues with it whatsoever. So as I mentioned, if you're looking for a budget-friendly Android device, whether it's your first one or you just want to pick up an Android phone, maybe you're an iPhone user that wants to experience Android, or you're looking for your first smartphone altogether, the Moto E might be the perfect choice for you. Motorola was kind enough to allow me to give away this review unit to one of you guys, and the details on that giveaway can be found in my full review of the phone over on runaroundtech.com. I'll have a link to 
to that in the video description. There'll also be a link down there to Motorola's website where you can learn more about the Moto E. As always, if you have any questions about this product or anything else, feel free to leave me a comment down below. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. It does help my channel out quite a bit. And as always, remember, have a great day.